the work was primarily a response to what happened after September 11th and the U.S. government seeking secret sites beyond its borders and most notably weapons of mass destruction. And I wanted to look inward at that time at what was at the, um, you know, the, at America's foundation. I actually, the the work is, I had, I had certain chapter headings in mind always, government, security, religion, um, science, and within those, the choices are actually quite personal, and I would find them through researching and um, speaking with experts. A, a large part of my process is not photographic. I don't think a political statement has to be absolute, so I wouldn't say that I'm not making any sort of um, movement politically, but I wouldn't say it's a statement. So um, it's almost through the absence of a statement that something actually can potentially take hold. It was never easy and there was never, there's no specific formula that just works for every single site. It's often just seeing who's on the receiving end and if they're interested in art, if they're, um, if I have to take a route that's more about talking about the need for transparency or um, who knows. Artistically and politically, the, the nuclear waste facility at Hanford site in Washington state was an important photograph and submerged in water are these stainless steel capsules containing nuclear waste. And I found one section of the waste that resembled a map of the United States. So that became um, an important picture, both graphically and um, in terms of having some sort of direct impact on me. The experience of doing that was... Um, definitely uh, alarming. You just have this incredible sense of how vulnerable we are when you're sitting alone in a room with blue glowing nuclear waste surrounding you. Well, I think it means different things to different communities and it certainly takes on a different identity depending on where I'm showing it. It also takes on a different identity as time passes because what the project meant under the Bush administration versus what it looks like under the Obama administration obviously are different and as time passes it becomes more of a time capsule. Uh, so there's, um, there's not kind of one all-pervasive identity. The next project I'm doing is a global project. My previous two projects have been domestic, and uh, one of the pieces in this upcoming project was produced in Australia.